What? What, baby? What? You can't be doing this while I'm videotaping. You hear me? You're not going to do that, are you? So, in the last couple of years, we have used Let's Talk Science, Adventures, and Planet Earth Level 3. We have used uh, Forces and Motions from Masterbooks. And we have used God's Design from Masterbooks. First things first, the recent, recent thing that we use is Let's Talk Science, Adventures on Planet Earth Level 3. I did do a flip through of this. If you would like to see it, you can click the link right there and it will take you to that video. Um, so this was for uh, Mark and he started this in the third grade, presently in the fourth grade, and we finished it. This was a winner for us because as you know, with master books, they give you the schedule. They tell you all the things that you are going to do. If you go through the flip through, it covers a lot of biomes and uh, there are four hands-on projects um, that you get to do throughout the year. There are other little stuff that you can do throughout the year too. Not too many um extra you know projects that you can do but one thing that i did love about this was that it's conversational so and it's two pages a day as you know with master books we keep lessons they keep lessons nice and short and to the point so um with easy 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 um work to do in the book some people don't like that about master books but as i am going on in my years of homeschooling i'm finding that quick and uh to the point lesson sometimes is all that you really need. Um, other things that they have in here is vocabulary, digging deeper. If you wanna go deeper into the topic you're talking about, there are three book recommendations for master books that you buy with this. I did not buy those books. I just used the library to reference. As you know, you can get beautiful books from the library already. So why not do it that way? I just added books from the library when they said, oh, learn about this different animal. We just went to the library and got a book about that animal. So I feel like you don't have to spend the extra money if you don't want to. You can just grab this book. The other thing I would suggest... Um, is that there is something in the back there are bonus activities and sometimes we don't pay attention to the whole book when we get a book but there are bonus activities in the back if you are going to use this i would read those activities first because then that gives you more hands-on stuff if your kid is more of a hands-on learner so out of all the series that we have done for master books this is definitely the one that i love the most it starts um from kindergarten and level four they just came out with um, this recent past summer, I would say, and um, it's level four, and that's for ages eight to ten. Um, this one is the level before it. I am contemplating getting that level for him just because I like this book so much for him to have extra science to do. As you know, my um, younger one is like in a CC type homeschool group right now, so a lot of his stuff is memory work and no real like book work, book work. But I do love that master books lessons are quick and to the point i'm starting to respect that as a homeschool mom yeah so for the other two let me just lay them down real quick um this one is what i had for um my older ones at the time um fifth and sixth grade i would say ish time and um i picked um, this series is called Science Starters. Yes, this was Forces and Motions, and it also came with Earth. Um, I did go back and look on the Masterbooks website. You can basically, at this point, download these for like 99 cents. Um, I don't know whether they went out of print. Um, they still have the other series, which is like Chemistry and Physics. So, But this one that we did with Force and Motion and the Earth, it did not work for us and i have to say that the book kids book and the teachers books was okay the pr biggest problem that i have with this series is that 
it was so hard to find this stuff for experiments or the stuff was just pricey and i'm like i'm not buying that for that project and um yeah it was i could not find the teacher's manual i wish i could find it because some of the stuff was like yeah it was it was a lot and they did a lot of measuring and all of that type of stuff um they were talking about roller coasters and this also had a digging deeper i did like that because it made them research and do stuff like that but yeah i gave it a big no because it was too much to find the stuff for the activities like wood and like um clamps or like different type of nuts and bolts and yeah it was it was yeah that's what made this a no and i'm seeing now they don't really sell it that much on masterbook so it probably was not that good yeah so anyway <laughs> um the next one is god's design this is the life science god's design they also it's also like a series that you use um it has life for like beginners and then it has a regular life that you can go to i have to say for this i definitely did like this this was for um kindergarten to second grade and yeah it covers all the plants body animals and i like this this was simple and to the point i don't think that i did a flip through of this and um my um <laughs> i don't think i did a flip through of this in my um for my videos but it is simple and to the point they're kind of tracing words at this age it's you know not doing too much again this is something that you're reading over with them and they're just tracing word there's a nice memory game that's in there we didn't play that obviously <laughs> there's also scripture which if you're a christian mom you like that a couple of things that he did in there again these are very easy and to the point and for what you get for this and for the price point it's on point there's you know that's what you're getting and um Again, this was a good curriculum. I would say if you are a mom who wants your child to have a little bit of science, Master Books is definitely a good way to go. It's easy to the point they can open it. Even if they're at the point where they can read a lot, you just have to help them a little bit. Then, um, yeah, they could open and do this themselves. So this is another thing that I did like. But overall, like I said, um, the one... <laughs> This, Let's Talk Science, was by far my favorite science from Masterbook thus far. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was informal for you as to whether you should choose one of these curriculums for your homeschool. If you do not want to miss more, click that subscribe button. And as always, do what serves your home. And this mom will check you out next time. Bye.